So I wouldn't normally start the launch of a new car video by the wheel. However, I'm sure you can tell by the way that I have effortlessly picked this thing up. This I would say that this new carbon fiber wheel is the embodiment of everything that the new 48 Pista is all about. Big news, one of the highlight cars of the show. Welcome to the cockpit of the new Ferrari 488 Pista, the most powerful V8 ever produced in a Ferrari road car. So as you can see by that montage, the car looks pretty awesome, but what is it all about? Well, it's pretty much heavily influenced by the Ferrari 488 GTE race car. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's start with the engine. It's now kicking out around 710 brake horsepower. And how is it achieved? Well, 50% of the engine components are brand new. And we've got things like titanium com rods and carbon intake plenums, no less, uh, to make not only the engine lighter, but all of these components uh, add up to uh, making it a much more free revving car, which will allow it to reach that maximum red line of 8,000 RPM. And of course, that all adds up to more uh, sporty driving experience. Speaking of which, gearbox and shift pattern has been revised. This now has an all new shift mode when you are in race mode that is more akin to the shift pattern in 488 GTE. Again, enhancing the sort of sportiness and aggressive feeling of the ethos of this car. Speaking of ethos, it is all about saving weight. One of my favorite new features, or should I say optional extras, which is available on the new 488 Pista is the carbon wheels. They are almost all carbon fiber, but the interior of the wheel is lined with a heat shield to dissipate heat that's coming off the brakes. And Ferrari have gone to great lengths with weight saving as well. They've even gone so far as to use the same lithium battery found in the 488 GTE race car. So something else that's pretty exciting, I almost lose count what edition of side slip angle control we are on now, but the 488 Pista has debuted side slip angle control 6 and if you were wondering if this thing could go any further, they are now also in control of the brakes. The idea behind side slip angle control six is that you know when the ABS kicks in when you're under really heavy braking, even when you're on track? This is designed to now modulate the brakes so it feels closer to, once again, the 488 GTE race car. So you're not gonna get that sort of weird augmented anti-slip from the conventional road car system. As soon as you turn it into CT off, you're gonna go all sorts of race car and have what Ferrari is saying, a more natural, progressive, more racy brake experience. Sounds awesome. Speaking of sounds, what is it gonna sound like? We know this is now a turbocharged engine. Uh, the engine, as I mentioned, 50% new components. It is heavily revised. Hopefully, I get the opportunity to drive this and bring you some driving impressions firsthand. The biggest thing for me, if you watch this channel regularly, I talk about smiles per gallon, theater and emotion. Ferrari, for me, are one of the brands that bring that in bucket loads and I hope that they have sprinkled the Maranello magic all over this thing so that when we turn over this turbocharged engine for the first time for its dynamic drive later in the year it's going to be phenomenal. So of course with all that power you need to handle it as well. 10% stiffer springs and of course with the optional extra carbon wheels for less unsprung weight I'm sure this thing is going to drive phenomenally well. I've spent a little bit of time in the standard 488 and that thing is no slouch. You would hardly say that what this thing needs is more power and less weight uh, but the fact that Ferrari have gone and done it again I absolutely love it. As a 458 Speciali owner this is a fascinating concept for me. Uh, it's the first modern day turbocharged car which they have applied the Scuderia and Speciali treatment to the ethos of uh, less weight more power that for me m equates conventionally to many smiles per gallon styling I think it looks fantastic photography of this car doesn't do it any justice the sculpture the rear wing is so exaggerated it almost looks like it's floating even though it, it is a fixed car it's not an active rear wing comments below let me know what you guys think what are you expecting of the 488 Pista I want to know, as always. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.